Hi folks, welcome to this uh, video on the Hartz conduction system. So the first thing I need to make clear is this isn't anything to do with exercise or when you're starting to exercise or where you're stopping from exercise. This is just how your heart produces its own heartbeat. Um, and very often in the AQA exam, the question will say that, the question will make no mention of exercise. It will just say, how does the heart produce a heartbeat or how does the heart control the rate at which it beats, i.e., how does the heart do what it does every single second or so, every day? No mention of exercise at all. Just to quickly recap a couple of key terms, systole and diastole. Systole is a contraction phase of the heart, okay? And diastole, oops, just select the pen, is the oops, relaxation phase of the heart. So when the heart contracts or the cardiac tissue contracts, it is known as um, contract, uh, sorry, it's known as systole, and when it relaxes, it's known as diastole. So, with that in mind, if you if you rewatch the video on the cardiac cycle, you'll re-familiarise yourself um, with that, and it's very important to do that. As you can see from this diagram, okay, just a quick recap, we've got four chambers of the heart, the top two, one there and one there are your atria, and the bottom two are your ventricles. Remember, your atria receive blood. Blood is flowing into your atria, okay, from the body and from the lungs. The blood's job is then to get into the ventricles, where it is then going to get pumped either back to the lungs to pick up um, oxygen, but crucially in this case, up through the aorta and then out into the rest of the body. Okay, so we've done about how the heart beats and contracts in the cardiac cycle in the in the um, cardiac cycle video. What we want to know is how does it generate its contraction, and that's what we're going to look at now. Now, questions when they have come up on how does the heart control the rate at which it beats, or how does the heart produce a heartbeat? They've typically been three to four marks. So let's have that as our absolute start point. These questions are typically three to four marks. We've got to say three to four things. Uh, on this topic, okay? Now, the certain structures in the heart that you need to be aware of, and we're going to highlight these, okay? Every heartbeat begins with this structure here, the SA node, which is this tiny knot of tissue. It's called sinoatrial because it exists in the back of one of the atrias, as you can see, in this case, the right atria. Now, what is this also known as? You may know it or heard of it as a pacemaker. When you've had someone who's, uh, or head of someone, or anyone who's had to have a pacemaker fitted, Sir Alex Ferguson, uh, famously, you know, he's had a pacemaker fitted. This is because their SA node, their pacemaker, isn't doing its job properly. Well, what is the job of the SA node, or the pacemaker? It is to generate an electrical impulse that is going to pass as a wave all the way across the atria, the top two atria, even spreading all the way across into the left atria, and create atrial systole. Now the key things here are that the SA node, and this is one of the few things that you are allowed to abbreviate in the exam, you can abbreviate to SAN if you want to, SAN creates oops, an impulse. Okay, and that impulse is going to spread across the top two chambers, i.e. the atria of the heart, and linking it to what we've just said, this then creates atrial systole. So the SA node generates or creates an impulse, the top two chambers, the atria then contract, atrial, aka atrial systole. So that is the first thing that happens during a heartbeat. But as you can see, there's another structure there, okay, and it's this one here, I'm just going to get the laser on it, is your AV node, your atrioventricular node. So this structure here, why is it an AV node? Because it kind of sits there, if you look here, there's a ventricle, there's a ventricle, there's an atria, 
there's an issue. It kind of sits near as damn it, slap bang between all four. So it's the atrioventricular. Atrio, as in atria, ventricular, as in ventricles, the AV node. Okay? Now, once that impulse has spread across to atria and created atrial systole, part of it reaches the AV node. Okay? The AV node then holds that impulse for around about 0.1, 0.2 seconds. So you might be thinking, why? What, what's the significance of that? Think about what the atria are doing. They're squeezing, contracting, and squeezing blood into the ventricles. The vent AV node is going to hold onto the impulse for 0.1, 0.2 seconds and give the ventricles chance to fill with the blood that the atria has just forced down into them. Okay, because what the AV node then does is, as you can see, if you follow the yellow lines, and what I'm going to about to draw in blue lines on here, the AV node then releases the impulse after it's held it for that very brief time down this structure and into all these branch structures in the ventricular walls. Now, as you can see by the, um, the words on this diagram, this central line down here, these yellow structures are called a bundle of hiss. Bundle of his, bundle of hiss, however you want to pronounce it. Okay? These tiny structures that look like smaller versions are called your, some people call it Purkinje, some people call them Purkinje fibres. Doesn't really matter. Purkinje or Purkinje fibres. Once that impulse has been released down from the AV node, down the bundle of Hiss, into the Purkinje fibres, what then happens is the atria then contract. Now that's a hell of a lot of information to take on board. So let's look at what we've already written. The pacemaker, but you're going to have to put the SA node, that's his proper name, the SA node, SAN, creates an impulse, and this creates atrial systole, Okay. What you're then going to put is impulse reaches AV node or AVN, whatever you want to call it. Okay? Now, if you're going for top marks in the paper, which you should all be aiming to do, you then need to say that the AV node holds that impulse for 0.1 to 0.2 seconds. So I'll put that in there. As a little reminder, 0.1 to 0.2 seconds. But what it then does is impulse. Oops. Is sent down. Bundle. Of his. Okay. So that's what happens next, and that bundle of his, remember, is this branch structure, and this is the septum of your heart, the, the, the side that separates the right-hand side from the left-hand side, okay? So down the bundle of his. Now I'm just going to move these up a little bit so I've got space to write uh, the last little part of this question. Once it's gone down the bundle of his, it will then go into... The Pekine or the Bikinji fibres, and what will happen then is you will then have ventricular systole. The ventricles will then contract. Okay, that is a lot of information to take on board. So let's have a really, really quick recap, and I'll show you how to write the perfect answer if this question were to come up on your exam. So that's how the question might appear. How does the heart control the, ra the rate at which it beats? As you notice, there's no mention of exercise. It's just how does the heart control the rate at which it beats. So let's answer it. Okay. How are we going to get four marks? Number one. SA node or SAN. Creates an impulse. And. Oops. Both. Atria contract. 
and it's worth putting in brackets that you are aware that that is systole. Or you could just put, and this creates atrial systole. There's going to be, okay, one mark. Tick for that so far. Okay? Impulse reaches AVN. AV node. Okay? And again, there's going to be a second mark for acknowledging that. Impulse sent down or passes down. Bundle of hiss. Into Pekine or Pekinji fibres. Whichever you prefer, as we've said before. You're going to get at least one mark for mentioning all that. And what's going to happen as a result, you're going to achieve ventricular systole. Or the ventricles are going to contract. And there is your four marks, or there are your four marks. Sorry, bad English now, isn't it? Um, and that's the answer to that question. What you've now got to do is get familiar with that diagram, picture it, use the information in your textbooks and your worksheets and get used to these structures. That's the way it works. That's how, if you have a heart rate of 60 beats a minute, your heart is doing that once every second, okay? When you're working, exercising, and your heart rate gets up to 120 beats a minute, your heart is doing that twice a second. So it's a very, very clever piece of kit, and it does it automatically. Your SA node creates that impulse automatically. Okay, folks, hope you found that useful. Again, watch it as many times, look back to the diagram, familiarise yourself with these terms so that you can answer this question in the exam, and good luck with it.